Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Toowoomba with Ben Apsey and... I'm Daryl Nicholson and um, how are you today, my friend? I, I am good. Um, nice day here in Toowoomba, partly cloudy. Top of... What have we got today? Top of 25 degrees okay. and a 5% chance of rain this afternoon and a very cold weekend coming. Yeah, it's going to get cooler. It's been funny out here. I'm still out in Stanfield, but it's been funny weather. It's cold some mornings, hot the next. So, but yeah, the 29th of April in the year 2020. So, mate, carrying on from yesterday, it was still a good um, product we put together yesterday, a good episode. That was episode 11. Today is episode 12. We were talking about the, um, the uh, paddock at the old Delacy's building. So, really looking forward to seeing how that comes together. Yeah, and it, it's really nice to see some old, uh, older buildings um, from their the use that they previously were into something new. And it's really nice to see that happening. It'd be nice to see a bit more of that through the CBD, um, especially with what's happening at the moment. A lot of people realising that they may not need, need an office. Um, they can work from home. So mm. there's that potential that a lot of businesses may downsize their office spacing or even move out of um, larger CBD office spacing, which frees up a lot of a lot of buildings. And there's already a massive vacancy rate down there as it is. Yep. But there's that opportunity to convert into inner city living, um, into... <laughs> dog. Yep. Uh, convert to inner city living um, in, in the upper floors and, and, and even maybe do micro business <laughs> on the downside. <laughs> Oh, don't you love what's going on? So, yeah, mate. And look, you won't be popular with real estate agents saying that more people working from home and taking up less office space. But um, anyhow, that's going to be the reality of things, maybe. Who knows? Mate, Clayton Manyweather does um, take out the rubbish every Monday night. And on Tuesday morning, he he didn't do it Monday night, but he did it Tuesday morning. I watched him and, and um, he said every morning his team get together and they... Um, they got together on Monday morning, might have been Monday morning, and they were just grateful for things. And I just want to talk about being grateful, just gratitude. I've got a little gratitude book um, that I'm trying to fill in every day and just be grateful for things. And yes, I was just grateful for health, home and communication, being able to pick up the phone and, and ring someone. I rang a few people yesterday. And uh, three words that were important to me was safety, phone and stability. So look, just be grateful for where we are because... Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in India and Peru, and we're, we're lucky to live in this lucky country. That we are. It's um, What we've got here is, is quite good compared to a lot of other countries. Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for uh, the neighbourhood that I live in. It's quite a nice neighbourhood. Yeah. And um, I'm great, grateful for my friends that I do have and th those that I do get to see via video chats and yep. um, on the phone as well. So, Yep, that's it, mate. Uh, Southern Downs Regional Council are in a meeting right now. We recorded this at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, so their meeting started at nine. And um, TRC, Toowoomba Regional Council, 10 o'clock, mate. So um, be interested to see how this meeting goes today. Hopefully a lot uh, smoother and quicker than, than last time. Um, yeah. It was a bit stop-start. Obviously, there's going to be teething problems. Oh, but um, you can, mate. You can. Teething problems with technology, with what was happening with the live streaming, I could understand. But yeah. teething problems with keeping the meeting flowing, um, correct procedure, correct process. Yeah. Surely, they know how to, uh, to run a meeting by now. So I hope that it uh, comes a bit more gelled this meeting round, especially when they're talking about um, the economic stimulus package they're putting together for the region. So Exactly, mate, exactly. And um, breaking news last night at 7 o'clock, I saw her on ABC and Channel 7 uh, through my Facebook page, Trevor Watts has resigned his um, portfolio as um, the Shadow Minister for Police and um, Special, whatever it is. And terrorism. Special terrorism. So... A bit of an incident in a driveway in East Toowoomba, mate. Um, two other police officers from the Southern Downs region and um, Trevor fined. And, um, yeah, Trevor fell on his sword. Yeah, and oh, it, it is a bit of a, a bit of a shame that um, he's had to do that. Yeah. It's you know, clearly someone with an axe to grind um, has gone after 
that area of town. It's a, it's a fairly remote part of East to Woolworth. So um, I mean, Trevor should have been doing the right thing and following the social distancing rules. And he believed he was, um, as per his statement. Yeah. And uh, it's a real, real shame to see him not in that portfolio because he's a great leader yeah. um, and he's a great representative for Tormer North. Yep, certainly, mate. And, um, yeah, sort of, I was blown away last night when it happened. I went, wow, because Trevor is um, a good guy of integrity and honesty. And um, I guess he saw the opportunity where he thought, well, I've done the wrong thing. And he admitted that, you know, and he wore the fine. And, um, yeah. he's and, that's, and that's probably one thing that, that says a lot to his character is that he was willing to admit his fault and, yeah. and own up and, and, you know, take responsibility for, for the fine. So yeah, um, that shows his character. Mm, excellent. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, life goes on. Mate, um, music, I just want to talk about a local young lady, Pepper Jane. Um, if you haven't heard this lady, this I played this song. It was the first song in trivia the other night, and um, Kim Breeze got it known. It was Keys by Pepper, Pepper Jane. You can see it at some of the markets around town, or used to be able to. But uh, she's got a couple of these little EPs out. But um, a great Toowoomba artist, and she gets around Australia. Well, she was. So I don't know where she is at the moment, but... Um, support local music and keep an eye on Andrew Cutts. He plays on a Sunday online. Mulder Brothers did a, a bit of a concert there um, a couple of Saturdays ago. And also Owen Ray has been strumming the guitar, guitar with his daughter, uh, Gypsy, Gypsy Ray. So um, yeah, just keep an eye out for local talent and support them. And when we get back on the other side, it'd be great to get back into live music again. And that's it. And I think it's really important. That's one thing that I've, I've noticed in Swimmer is um, the, the art scene. It's, it's this notion that we try to get as much for free. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's really important that as a community, we look at the, the arts um, and the cultural scene in our region and go, well, we're prepared to pay you for what you're doing. We're prepared yeah. to, to give you some money to come and perform in our venue, um, to, to do shows, that sort of stuff, not just as a Fair enough, if someone's just trying to get some experience doing something, then maybe they're just starting out. That's where you, there needs to be some sort of compromise there. But artists, um, it's it's not a, an easy field to be part of. It's not easy to perform in front of people. So, uh, but yeah, and, we, and they should be paid what they're worth. That's exactly right, mate. Exactly right. So, okay, mate, um, I'm going to play a new game today. You know that game, Where's Wally? Well, I'm going to start playing Where's King Jong Jung? Where's he hiding? We don't know. I um, I have heard of many stories of, of where or what is going on there. So we'll um, we'll leave that up to the uh, to the media. I think that 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 one. So yeah, I was a bit worried there for Trump for a little while when Boris was sick. He was getting worried, and now he's probably worried about his other mate. So because uh, Boris wasn't really looking the best yesterday when he came out that um, Boris Johnson. But um, he, I, I guess he you know. Trump will be happy Boris is fine now. Now he'll just be worried about his mate Kim Jong Un, where he is. And uh, he said yesterday they were going to talk about it, but nothing came of it. No, um, I, I know there is speculation that uh, he has passed away uh, from coronavirus, yeah. um, that his sister is now running the show. But uh, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see, won't we? So That's exactly right, mate. Okay, well, let's see. Wednesday the 28th, uh, sorry, Wednesday the 29th of April, episode 12, mate. I was telling someone yesterday that we've done 12 episodes and they're like, wow. So um, we've got good, strong, you know, we're getting more following each day. And um, I, I, I'd like to be a bit controversial, as I said to you before the council elections. I'm not going to talk council every day, but um, let's just hope we're, um, we've got some great community leaders there that are going to look after the community. And, that, and that's the important thing is that it is about it is about community. That's you know your tagline with Twitter four three five OTV. It's all about you know more than just a postcode. It's all about community, and that's and that's fundamentally what council is about. It is about the community that they're elected to represent, and it's, it's the same with the state and the federal government. That's they're elected by their community, by their local um, constituents to serve them in their best interests. So. Wednesday, the 29th of April, 2020. I'm Daryl Nicholson, Tumba 4358 TV. More than just a buzz code, it's about community. That's right. And thank you for joining us, Ben Apsey, with Good Morning Tumba. <laughs>